Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I got something special for you guys and I think we should be talking about this sooner than later on because it is something that's, that pertains to a team in the NBA that's actually a prominent team, a team that people think are a championship team. And I'm here to dispute that fact. I'm here to say that's a whole lot of bull crap. You know what I mean? So before we get into that, just make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And let's get this video to 15 likes. And then let's, that's the challenge. Let's see if we can get this video to 15 likes and let's get it on the algorithm. But besides that, let's get into the video. So, Giannis Antetokounmpo is probably regretting his decision to sign with to re-sign with the Milwaukee Bucks right about now. If he isn't, he should start right about now. He should be regretting his decision because signing with the Bucks was the wrong thing to do, right? I made a video a long time ago called Giannis will end up on the Golden State Warriors and I wish that Giannis would have taken my advice in that video. In that video, I outlined why he should sign with the Golden State Warriors. And one of the main reasons is Milwaukee doesn't prioritize championship. Milwaukee doesn't prioritize winning. If they did, they say they do, but they don't, right? They say they do, but they don't. You know why? Because actions speak louder than words. We all know that statement and it is so true. In every walk of life, actions, your actions always speak louder than what you say, right? They matter more. And in a case of the Milwaukee Bucks, their action, their actions don't convey to me that they care about winning championships. Because here they have a guy like Giannis, who is a all-time, a great talent, and they are not surrounding him with stars. If they cared about winning, they would have went out and gotten a second star for Giannis to play with, and they didn't do that, right? Granted, this offseason, they went out and they got guys like Wesley Matthews and Drew Holiday, but guys like Wesley Matthews and Drew Holiday don't win you championships. Let me say that again. Guys like Wesley Matthews and Drew Holiday don't win you championships. Even though Drew Holiday is a great talent, they don't win you championships. They don't win you championships because this league, the NBA, is a star-driven league. Stars win championships. I don't know if you guys have noticed, right? Stars get what they want because stars get the job done. If a team has to choose between a coach and a star, they will choose the star because stars win championships and it's a star-driven league, right? And I don't mean to bash on these guys, but Chris Middleton, the second in command in in Milwaukee is not a star, okay? He's proven that time and time again, right? And if you don't believe me that stars don't win championships, let's look at the past five NBA championships, right? Golden State, don't even get me started on that, right? They, they were packed to the brim with stars. Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, you name them, right? Toronto, they had Kawhi Leonard and an all-star in Kyle Lowry. They won it last year in 2019. Oh, that was two years ago, but... Uh, still New Year, gotta get used to that. But they won it a few years, two years ago, right? Lakers, LeBron and Anthony Davis, two megastars, right? Hell, LeBron has never won a championship without had two other stars on his team. In Miami, when he was in Miami, D, he, he was playing with D-Wade, he had to learn that the hard way, all right? After years of getting his butt kicked in Cleveland by the big three Celtics, right? And getting to the NBA Finals only to get beat up by the 2007 Spurs. He took his butt down to South Beach to go play with other stars in Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade, right? And then he came back to Cleveland and he played with Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving. And then he went to Los Angeles and then he plays now with Anthony Davis. It's a star-driven league and the smartest basketball player in the league knows this. LeBron knows this. You don't win when you don't have stars. No matter how great you are, it's a team sport and you need good players around you. The better they are, the better your chances. And LeBron knows this. Giannis is a loyal guy, right? But Giannis, I'm gonna tell you right now, like I told you months ago, it's not a loyal league. It's not a loyalty league. It's a business. You do what's best for you, just like how the organization, when push comes to shove, they'll do what's best for them, okay? And there are not enough stars on your team, prominent stars, to get you over the hump. You're a great team, right? But the Milwaukee Bucks are what you would call a hype job. A hype job team is a team in which the hype for the team exceeds the actual potential of the team. An example of a team like this from another sport would be this year's Pittsburgh Steelers. 
right? Pittsburgh Steelers started this year, this season, with an 11-0 record. And everywhere around the league, it was crickets. Nobody cared. You know why no one cared? Because it was all hype and no macho. They beat bottom feeder teams, teams that didn't matter. It wasn't real. There was no substance to it. You didn't have a team we could look back and say, you beat that team, you proved to me you could play stellar football and you could play when push comes to shove. They didn't do that. They beat a bunch of bottom feeders, a bunch of weak teams, and the hype went up here, but nobody cared because we knew when push comes to shove, when they were gonna play against a good team, they were gonna get destroyed. And that's what happened when they had to play an actual good team. I never thought I was gonna say this. They played an actual good team in the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> the Cleveland Browns. But they played them in the playoffs and immediately it was a dumpster fire. It was terrible. They didn't know what to do. They never, because they had never faced actual adversity in the season before, right? And it's the same thing with the Milwaukee Bucks. They are a hype job of a team. And the reason I say this is because they're great in the regular season, but nobody cares. I don't care about the regular season. Legends aren't made in the regular season. We watch for the playoffs. We watch to see what you do when the stakes are high, right? Because two years ago, right? In 2019, Milwaukee Bucks were the juggernaut, the best team in the league with a number one seed, right? What happened? They went up against a good team in Toronto and they got they got destroyed. They, they got beat, right? They, they were a big hype job, whatever, in, in the regular season. And then when it all mattered, they crumbled, right? Then again, last year, 2020. Guess who was the first seed in the East? Let me help you out. Milwaukee Bucks. And they again <laughs> went up against a good team in Miami. And they again went crumbled, right? And it's the same thing I'm seeing right now. They're one of the best teams in the league right now. Right now, they're standing in third, I think, in the standings. Not too sure about that. Either top top three. And I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't buy it. The reason I don't buy it is because I wanted to give them a benefit of the doubt, right? I wanted to give them a benefit of the doubt. I'm like, okay, maybe those last season, okay, right? They got new pieces, right? Maybe it's different this time. It doesn't matter. When they went up against a team, they will have to get over, get through to, to get to the finals, they lost, right? When they have to play against the good teams, the top tier teams, they lose, right? So they played against Brooklyn, the newly formed Brooklyn Nets, right? They lost. Then they had to play against uh, the Lakers. Lakers is a great benchmark, right? Last year's seat, uh, champions, great benchmark to, 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 to gauge where you are, they lost. My point is, when they play teams that actually matter, that would they would actually have to play in the playoffs they don't they, they lose they don't matter they don't you know it's not the regular season it's not these bottom feeder these stupid little teams that don't matter okay you in order to win championship you i promise you you're gonna have to play a boston you're gonna have to play a philadelphia you're gonna have to play a brooklyn you're gonna have to play the lakers i promise you you're not winning when they have to play these really good teams that they're gonna have to play in the playoffs they crumble they don't they don't gotta work counts Sorry, you know what I mean? And a team like that, I don't care about, you know? I just hate that everyone hypes them up because they have Giannis. Like Giannis is great, but you don't win alone, right? LeBron was greater than Giannis, didn't win alone, right? Right. So Giannis, you gotta take a page out of LeBron's book, get your butt out of Milwaukee and get somewhere where they're gonna care about you. Go to a Golden State where they are a well-run franchise. They care about winning, right? I mean, look at Golden State right now. They, one of their prime stars, Clay Thompson's out and guess what they're doing? They're beating a team you couldn't beat the other night. They beat Los Angeles at home. It's a team you couldn't beat. So get out of there, man. You you only have so many years. You don't want to get to the 15th year of your career and then realize I don't have a championship. Man, I want to... You don't want to be a Karl Malone. You don't want to be a Charles Park where you chase rings in your old age. Take control of your career right now and go find yourself a good team that will care about, you know, winning. Because right now, it is not working out for you. This team isn't looking out for you. You know why? Because James Harden was on the market. Everyone knew James Harden wanted out of Houston. Milwaukee could have traded Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Wesley Matthews, a bunch of draft picks for James Harden. But instead of that, now you have to play against him, right? with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, if that wasn't bad enough, in order to get to the finals. So maybe you gotta be at proactive instead of reactive. Pro being reactive ended up giving your conference rival a all-time talent that you now, that's more of a nuisance for you to get over now. So do what's best for you and get out of Milwaukee because they're a hype job of a team. 
it's not real. It's, it's just a smoke screen and it's a bunch of hype and it's not real and you're gonna find out early on in the playoffs. Do yourself a favor to get out now. Go find yourself a good team, right? No hate to Milwaukee, no hate to the city of Milwaukee, just your organization's kind of subpar, you know? And you're wasting a really, a diamond in the rough of a talent. So those are my thoughts on Milwaukee as a, as a, as a team. I think right now there may be three, there are three definite teams that can beat them in the playoffs. No questions asked. Boston, Philadelphia, and then there's two more teams that could probably give them a run for their money. Miami and Atlanta. And you know, so those are just my thoughts, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think Giannis should stay in Milwaukee or do you think he should, he should leave? Like, do you think he should force his way out? He doesn't seem like the guy to have that kind of personality. Do you think he should, you know, strong arm his way out like kind of James Harden did? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below and thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.